Hey, I want to show you something that I do with just about every figure drawing that I do. I've got a eight half by eleven sheet of paper here. First thing I do, I generally indicate where the figure is going to go, basically to keep me away from the edges of the paper. I uh, generally start with the shoulders. I'm going to draw a male figure this time. Now I know the shoulders are going this way, so I'm going to try to make the hips do something a little interesting, make them go the other way. I'm uh, going to make one leg come forward, one leg go back, like so. Opposing arm, come forward, like so. Opposing arm, go back. Figure out where the head go, will go. Very simple, very basic. Some hair. Um, establish where the muscles are going to go. Things like that. Going very quickly through this. Uh, foot. Other foot. Like so. Okay, now there's basically your figure. Uh, there can be more, um, of course, details, subtleties, nuances, things like that. Um, you know, while I've got it at this point, I want to show you another technique that I use, which could call be uh, could call uh, looping. And that's basically I do circular movements, and I allow them to inform. See. Boom, come down, come down, whoop, whoop, like so. Basically, the way natural forms work, um, this is going to um, emphasize that. Helps, helps you to place things. See, now I'm, I'm getting the feeling that this shoulder should be further out. There should be a little more mass on the forearm, and so on. Perhaps tilt the head slightly, like so. Okay, so that's another technique. Um, might think about uh, shadows, cast shadows, things like that. Okay, so there's a figure as we have it. And um, normally what I do, and this is a big secret, is that I don't start uh, inking on this piece of paper because it's time consuming uh, to erase the pencils. So next step, I'll take this drawing, flip it over, stick it onto a light box, and then what this does, I got to take real quick, hold on, is that it, um, flipping the drawing, you could use a mirror for this also, but what it does is it lets you see things that you, uh, mistakes, errors that you wouldn't have noticed in the first place. So looking at this drawing now, I don't like the position of the head. So I'm going to move the head over quite a bit like so. Uh, alter the shoulder slightly. Uh, I'm going to alter the hand a little bit, make it pointing in a slightly different direction. Uh, overlap here, uh, change the hand to a less sort of, um, what's the word, position where it might be injured. I see issues with the leg, so I correct those. Uh, calf is not long enough, make that longer. Make this slightly thinner, like so. And basically, the figure has been really completely, very little uh, has remained the same. Things have been fixed, have been repaired, corrected. And my point is that there are going to be um, anatomical, proportional shortcomings that uh, as soon as you start drawing, you get used to what you're seeing and they sort of, in a sense, become invisible. So the whole uh, technique of flipping your drawing in order to check things, uh, it goes way back uh, to classical art. Um, painters, Da Vinci, so on, they would have a mirror behind them when they were working so that they could turn and see the artwork, uh, the painting or drawing in a mirror, see the reflection reversed, basically. So anyway, um, then I'll take this drawing, flip it back over this way, 
put another sheet on it and begin inking on it. And then when I do that, um, I, there are no pencils to erase, so it really speeds things up. So anyway, that's basically it, and um, I'll leave it there.